This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot taking on a long-rated champion. If he's gonna get this done, it's gonna take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Nante. Championship. He is the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, a guy you tried to bring in to emulate John Jones back in the day. Absolutely. You knew right away when you watch Israel fight that he has an ability to fight in so many different ways. If he's coming to play a part, he's going to play that part better than anyone else you can find. Yeah. It's because of the adaptability. It's his ability to change the way he's fighting based on his opponent. In the Derek Brunson fight, he did a lot of kneeing because he knew Brunson was going to wrestle him. But in the fight against Kelvin Gastelum was a lot of punches and kicks because the wrestling threat was not so great. You gotta have that if you hope to compete and stay atop your division for a long time. tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's who's first? Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, the great. And now introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel, the last battle bender. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so we get another look at Israel Adesanya here tonight. Let's see if he can get off to a fast start. He's not a guy that forces the finish. He will tell you as much that he likes to feel things out a little bit early on. He knows his opponent's going to come shooting at those legs. More often than not, short sample size in the UFC. But Israel Adesanya's takedown defense has held up. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. You'll work with that jab. Jab lanes. Oh! Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Lands a solid kick right there. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice inside kick. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. There's that counter game with Israel Adesanya in full effect early in this fight. He's so long, and he does such a great job of seeing and picking up reads of when you're going to attack. 
the moment you enter, Izzy hits you with those counter shots. And he really makes you pay for trying to engage him in the fight. Oh, just misses with the kick. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Adesanya. Big power shot there. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Man, look at Adesanya putting his words into action. I don't throw and hope, I aim and fire. The accuracy is just on a completely different level and not surprising that he has drawn comparisons to the consensus greatest middleweight champion in UFC history, the great Anderson the Spider Soul. Midway through round one. Oh, wow, great jab there by Izzy. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Another big head kick lands. He is not seeing those head kicks coming as his foot leaves the campus. Great commitment to the kick game. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He's figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Going orthodox now. And now that jab starting to get established. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Under two minutes to go. Nice little shot. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a tactic. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Throwing that jab, no good. Whiffs on that offering. Under a minute now to go on the round. Distance management, 101, another punch land. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. 30 seconds. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, he missed with that right hand. 20 seconds left. Adesanya's head kick is blocked. No damage there. First round winding down here. Huh. Round two is next. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risks. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attacked the body to great effect, and we look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Went for the inside leg kick. 
on point with that jab today. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Man, he has been masterful on the feet this evening, and really his weapon of choice is... Oh, man! All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is... He advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Asanya. Adesanya's got a bruise appearing on that left side now. Got to think that bodily investment is going to pay dividends later in the fight. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Under three to go round two. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Lead kick is true there by Adesanya. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back on. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. Right right well, I'm not... Oh, big knee! He's hurt so bad. He's got to find safety. Find a way that you can recover. Oh, off the fight. And the kick lands. Now he lands a shot to the leg. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Man. Oh! And this is a great fight. These guys are just letting it all hang out. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. One minute. 60 seconds. Just misses with the jab. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do as we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now. Because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Oh, look at that. He can't even stand. Oh, that's big. Ten minutes in the can. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights. That flying knee, so perfect. Kind of makes me want to try one in the dressing room after the fights. No, John. <laughs> John, John, listen. No, John. No. <laughs> Don't throw a flying knee. Okay.
You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Now three of a possible five. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not oh! Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed it. Oh! There it is again. We might get a stoppage here. What's that? shot from the top. Changing the position. Big ground and pound. All right, so from being dominated to in the dominant position, nice reversal on the ground. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Adesanya. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. Oh! Goes down again! Beautiful diving strike lands. Big. It's all So how about that? What a moment for this fighter as he pounds him out for the TKO win. Relentless strikes landed across the board and a huge, huge win in his career. John, that was so impressive. What an amazing display of finishing ability by this young fighter. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 27 seconds of the third round. He played the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender. All right, so Israel Adesanya, your winner by TKO. A lot of people didn't give him a chance to put this dude away. Put him away, all right. He was confident that he can get the job done. He thought that he could finish his fight, and that's exactly what he did.